Hey guys, it's DTP and I'm back again with the Road to All Boss Drop series. Uh, so first of all, I went to Bandos because I kind of fancied like an easy boss to do and it was kind of a nice idea. And in the first clip I got the first ever drop I'd had at Bandos, as you can see, because I got the book as well. And that was a Bandos hilt, which was kind of cool. I'm um, a bit of a troll drop, along with my next drop, which wasn't exactly motivational. Like, it didn't get make me want to stay there because I got a Bandos war shield. And then I got another one a few kills later as a duplicate. Um, but then after that, my next drop was Bandos Boots, uh, so that was okay, it was another drop that I needed to kind of leave Bandos, um, it wasn't too bad. I got a few effigies as well in between these, um, and then I got my first decent-ish drop from Bandos, which was the Tassies, uh, so I was kind of happy about that, that kind of made it feel like it was a bit more worthwhile, because um, it was taking up a fair bit of time, but I enjoyed it, obviously I wouldn't do it if I didn't want to do it. And then the next drop I got was a Bandos Helm, which was a, obviously not a duplicate, I hadn't had one of those. And then a while after that one I got Bandos Gloves. So that's epic, um, at this point I was nearly done with the series, or this boss for the series. Um, I got a few shards as you'll see in the background. But I also was getting a lot of duplicate drops, so it's frustrating a bit, but I kind of was, at this point I just needed the Bandos Chestplate to be done. Like, and then, but I kept getting duplicate drops, I got another pair of Tassets, and I got uh, two war shields, another pair of boots. So it was getting a bit tedious at this point, but finally, Bandos decided to be nice to me and he gave me a Bandos chest plate. Uh, so then at that point, I basically picked it up and tabbed a few seconds later. <laughs> I was kind of happy with that. Uh, so then I took a break from Bandos as I realized I was close to 200 mil dungeoneering. So I went and finished that off, uh, and you can see a clip of me getting 200 mil dunge in the background. So that was epic, really. And then after that I went to QBD because it was good money per hour and you can see me getting a Visage now, uh, that was awesome. I got 10 of those in the end um, and there's a PC at the end of this. Uh, and at the moment you're seeing me get all the royal pieces which a story about these is that I got every single piece apart from the bolt stabilizer. Um, I actually got about 10 royal sights I think it was. Uh, so I was getting a little bit annoyed um, and I kind of didn't think I was ever going to get a bolt stabilizer. I kind of thought because obviously they've all got the same chance, so I just figured bolt stabilizers were discontinued, and I was getting a bit mad. Um, but anyway, I got those, and then I didn't get many more duplicates after that, and I got kind of lucky with the Dragon Bone upgrade kit, which is only 50k, but I really wanted it because I knew it was one of the rarer drops there. And then not too many kills after that, probably got another 50 kills, I got the Dragon Kite finally, which meant I could then go on and move on to a different boss. Uh, so then after that, I thought I'd give Armadillo a shot, um, I went there with range and I wasn't really enjoying it. I don't like the range abilities. Um, so I went and banked to get seismics and then people tried crashing me. There was two of them. So then I came back and like kind of went like they were kind of being douchey and tried to crash me. So I anti-crashed obviously because I had seismics. And then I got an armadillo chest plate. Um, so that was epic and kind of funny. I liked it. And then the exact same kill after that. I got the Armadillo Buckler, as you can see from my kill count, so that was awesome. Um, I'm going to move into some live footage now of my drop taps so far. Um, obviously I've done a lot of Bandos, or sorry, Armadillo before that, but yeah. So now I'm going to move into some live footage of my drop tab. I hope you enjoy. See you in a second. Okay guys, so this is my drop tab so far, and you can see all the drops I've had from Glacor's Bandos, but what I didn't include in the videos is the amount of duplicates I got. So I figured I'd include a price check at the end so I can keep you updated and you can see how I progress each time. And I'm not going to be able to put everything in obviously, but I'll put as much of the good stuff in as I can. So I'll be back in a few seconds with that. Okay guys, so this is me doing the PC and I have no idea how much this is worth at the moment. So it'll be a bit of a shock for me as well. Um, wow, it actually added up quite a bit. I really didn't think it'd be this high. Um, that's actually quite good. Um, so basically a lot of the money from here looks like it's from QBD. Um, these really didn't take that long to get. Um, wow, okay. Sorry for like the lack of commentary here, I'm kind of curious as well. Alright, so I've made 181 mil from bosses, like the Glycors, Bandos and stuff, and then from Virago I made about 400 odd mil, which you saw in the first video, probably, well probably more, way more than that. But, um, and then these are from the energies, which is about another 92 mil. You can get sell energies for about 500k each. So that is awesome. 
I'm really happy with how this turned out, and obviously that's not everything in the drop tab as well, so the tab's probably worth around about 290 mil, I'm guessing. So that's an amazing improvement. Um, so thanks for watching. I really appreciate the support and the likes. These videos take a long time to make, as you can probably imagine. So thanks again, and peace.